Well, hello, everyone. What is, no. <laughs> I'm pretending like I was surprised. Hey, I turned on my own camera. Surprise. But, no, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise at all. Katie, thanks for being with us. For those of you that joined us, I can't see who's on Facebook. And uh, thanks for being here. For those of you that are listening to the recording, uh, today is uh, Good Friday up here in Fargo, North Dakota, where I'm at. It's uh, Saturday morning down in Australia, where some of you are at, and wherever uh, you might be um, in the different time zones. So welcome to the call. Uh, I think I've got some exciting information. You know, each week we get together, Katie and I uh, get together and do this call. And for those of you who join us each week, thanks for being here. Pr really appreciate it. You know, I was saying earlier that, um, you know, there's a lot of other things you could be doing. People ask me, well, why do you do this call on Friday night? Why don't you do it on Mondays? Why don't you do it on Tuesdays? Why don't you? Well, here's why. We used to do calls during the week for the team, and we found out that it was too hard to make the call available to everyone across continents, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. Right now, it's Saturday morning down in Australia. It's uh, somewhere around noontime or early afternoon down in New Zealand. And uh, it's Friday night up here in North America. And so it just seemed to work out pretty good that way. Otherwise, you know, people are working Monday through Friday. So if I did an evening call here uh, during the week, well, then it would be... Uh, a weekend or a weekday morning when a lot of people are working. And, uh, and so we decided to host these calls on, on Friday nights. And, and I guess, you know, we've been doing that now for probably about uh, six years um, every Friday night. And we try and get together. There was a time frame where we quit doing every week and we went to every other week because uh, corporate came on board and, and they like the idea of being able to do a Friday afternoon, Friday evening call. And, and I didn't want to interfere with that. I thought that, <clears throat> you know, if we had one call per week, uh, then it was plenty. But what I found out was, is that the topic, the material that corporate goes over and the material that I go over, the material that Katie goes over, um, it's different. It's, it's just different. And, uh, and I, I, I decided last year that we had to go back and start doing some of these calls because when you're, when you're building a team, there's certain things that you need to have in order to make it work. And, and, and uh, I think explaining the opportunity is really, really important. Explaining the opportunity to people so that they understand what the opportunity that they're really getting into uh, with Sizzle. Now, I'm going to, I like to use my own life experiences um, because I can, I can relate to it. And, and I hope that, that for those of you that are listening to the call live, for those of you that are, you know, listening to the recording, I hope that you can somehow relate to it as well. You know, once people find out that you're doing network marketing, you're doing direct sales, you're doing this sort of business, this, you know, even if you call it a pyramid uh, idea, you know, it seems like they come knocking on your door all the time with their, their shiny new object. I'm going to call it the shiny new object, right? And, and I call it that because it's distracting. You know, you get something shiny over here and, and people go look at it. You have something shiny over here and people go look at that. And, you know, and, 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 and the shinier that the object is, the shinier that the company is, the more distracting it can be, you know. And they try and make it that way because they want to somehow draw you away from what you're doing and go with them. And if... The first thing that a lot of people do, a, a friend of mine, he told me that what, what he did was he, uh, he basically, he, 
he would poison um, the person. He would poison the person as far as like, you know, what they were doing. So he would, he would start dripping on them with poison and, and he would find all the little, the little things that were wrong with what you were doing. Yeah. Like, Oh, Hey, did you know that, um, encompass 360 isn't available? Is it, is it, he would say, is it ever going to be available? Did they drop it? Did they drop their multiple, multiple vitamins and see, he would, he would poison people. And what he didn't realize was that, Hey, look, um, Encompass 360 was taken off the market for a short period of time because we couldn't get some of the ingredients and we could have put cheaper ingredients in there and we could have put it back on the market right away. But as a company, our company, our leadership at, at the top decided we're not going to do that. If we can't get the top of the line best ingredients, we're not going to put the product on the market. And you wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known. Nobody would have known if they would have slid those um, inferior ingredients into it. But somebody outside the company that follows the, the, the teachings of, of this guy that, I mean, we were friends, we're no longer friends. Um, they would have used that to poison you to try and get you to look at their shiny new object. Well, um, this last week, I've had two or three other companies that have called me and they're, they're, they're calling and they're saying, Hey, Kurt, you know, that old company of yours. And, and, and right away I said, don't do that. Don't poison what I'm doing. I love where I'm at and I'm just going to hang up on you. If you, if you do that. And that, and that folks is, is really what you need to do. You guys, you can just got to You stand with what you're doing. And I mean, if you, if you believe in it, like I believe in it, and you've heard me talking about belief, you have to have your belief, but here's what I said. Your company just started up last week. It just, you know, and he said, Oh no, 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 we're, we haven't even launched yet. Grab a spot for free. It's free. It's free. It's free. And I'm like, well, there's a reason that they give it to you for free because it's kind of a bait and switch type of a thing. Here, sign up for free and then, oh no, it's going to cost you money. Sign up for free. Oh no, it's going to cost you money down the road. And, but it, it's, it's a way of getting you to um, take a look at what they're doing. And, and, and then what they're doing, what they're hoping is, is that you can throw enough, I'm going to say stuff, but you know what I'm saying. If you throw enough stuff at the wall, some of it's going to stick. Throw enough stuff at the wall, it's going to stick. It's kind of like mud, but it's not. And, 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 and that's, that's kind of what they're hoping when they, when they build those companies. So it's free, 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 sign up now. Um, they use all the, all the, you know, the right word, you know, top position. You know, that's the thing about getting into network marketing is that you want to be on the top. Well, aren't we all on the top of our own network? I mean, I don't have an upline. Sizzle is my upline. I don't have an upline. Um, I'm on the top. And I'll tell you, it's just as, it's probably harder to build when you're on the top because you don't have anybody helping you. You don't have any um, uh, leadership above you giving you any kind of advice. You don't have anybody where you can call them up and you can say, hey, you know, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. And so, we're all kind of on the top of our, of our own little uh, business. And, and, and I try and tell people, when you're building, when you're building your business, just build it as if, what if you don't have anybody in your business? And what if you don't have anybody above you? What if it's just you and you're just getting started today? What are you going to do? If you want to be successful, what are you going to do? And I want you to think about that. What are you going to do? If, if you want to be successful and you don't have an upline and you don't have a downline, you have nothing, it's just you, you just got started, what are you going to do? Well, first thing I'm going to tell you is that I'm going to pick a company that's got a track record, right? I, I want to pick a company. Over 90% of companies, I think it's like close to 97% of companies fail in their first five years. So am I going to pick a brand new company that just launched today 
they've got a 3% chance that they're going to make it. 3%. No. Hey, they might be the best. They might have great leadership, but there's a 3% chance that in five years they're going to be there. So here we got Sizzle. Six, Sizzle, by the way, is 16 years old. And we just completed our best year ever as far as global sales. Think about that. 16 year old company just finished our best year on global sales. And, and we weren't having crummy sales before. We were having good sales before, but we had the best year ever. And I'm going to say that 2022 is going to be better than 2022 or 21. 2021 was the best year ever. 2022 is going to be better than that. Now, that's the train I want to jump on. That's the train I want to jump on. I want to get on a moving train. I want to get on a train that's moving forward. We've got great products. We've gotten rid of the, the, the um, extra baggage. I'm going to call it extra baggage. We've gotten rid of the extra baggage, the stuff that was slowing us down. We've worked through the problems. We've worked through some issues. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. In today's world, the market is changing all the time. The way that we run businesses is changing all the time. <clears throat> the things that we do. I mean, just look, you know, the internet. I mean, if you're getting started with one of those old, old companies, the ones that were around 30 years ago, you know, if they didn't evolve and develop things that could be sold over the internet, wow, I'm telling you, uh, you, you, you're getting involved with a dinosaur. Internet. You got to be able to have that. You got to be able to have an app. You got to be able to have a way of sharing information online. And then you got to have another way of sharing it, brochures and, you know, the old school way. We've got that. We've got that. We've got those things in place. And we've worked the bugs out, you know, a couple of years ago. I'll tell you what. We had some problems. We switched computer systems. We had some problems. We had some issues. Whew, did we have issues? We fixed them. Right? I have no problem saying, hey, we had issues. We fixed them. So when we're looking at a network marketing company, you know, don't always look at the shiny new object. Don't look at the fact that, hey, you can be on the very top. You know, when you're on the top, there's only, you know, there's only so many people that can be on the top and somebody's going to be trying to push you down. You know, they're going to be trying to shove you down because they want to be king of the mountain. And so I wanted to talk about that tonight. And I wanted to just really share when we're building this business, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a great business to build. We can build this thing with three people. And if you've been on these calls before, you've heard me talking that I can help you build a business if you can find three people who make sense of it all. Now, if they just want to buy products and they want to find their health and, and that, okay, you need more than three. We're looking for three people who understand the concept of business building. And if you can find those three, and I know you can, according to the top iconic leaders in network marketing, Eric Worre and, and, and others, they say that we can all find three. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's going to happen overnight. It might not be the first three people that you find. You might find somebody that joins you and they get started and they look like, oh, they're, they're, they're just going gangbusters. And then all of a sudden, they see a shiny new object over there and they go flying off. They go fluttering off like a butterfly. You know, we have those friends that are butterflies that'll flutter off over here. You got to replace them. So that's why you don't want to find three and stop. You want to look for your fourth and your fifth and your sixth. And you know, and, and you build three at a time and you help those three find three and you help those nine find three. Three times three is nine. And then you help those nine find three. That's 27. And if you're following the concept and you're, you're, you're buying the, the amount of volume, which is 300 PV every month, that allows you to participate in every aspect of the compensation plan. So you're not letting money roll back to the company, right? 
I believe in keeping the money ourselves. I don't believe in letting the money roll back. Keep it for yourself. And I can show you how to do that. So find those three. Get them in touch with me. Get them in touch with one of the other leaders. And we can make this thing work. Katie, I know you thought I was going to go overtime. Yeah. I'm not. I'm Great. done. Fantastic.